Are you ready to roll the dice? Thank you for coming to my channel. Today, I'm going to dis discuss two conflicting ideas, running versus maintaining connectivity. Here is an example. Red rolled 6-4 in the opening row. Red can run to the 14 point. Uh, this is the running play, and it leads to isolation because if white does not roll a 2, then red will succeed in running one back checker. At the same time, red remains one back checker on the 24 point. This checker is totally isolated. So running will lead to isolation. On the contrary, if you choose splitting a back checker is a 6 and bringing it down from the midpoint, now two back checkers are well connected. White can hit any 1s, any 6s, but in that case, red will have 16 return shot from the ball. And if white does not hit the checker on the ball point, then red will have a good chance to secure the advanced anchor on the opponent ball point. So splitting is a, a connection play. It tries to maintain connectivity. So these two plays, uh, the ideas are very opposite. And actually, this question came from uh, Mr. Stuart Farve. Farver, sorry. Yeah, so he was wondering, how do we distinguish these two plays? And I'm going to give you three tips to solve this question. Uh, tips number one. If we can land on the midpoint, then running is preferred. I'm going to give 6-5 instead of 6-4. Of course, now running is better. Who wants to choose split and down like this? Please raise your hand. Okay, nobody raises their hand. And actually confirm that. Uh, running is better by 70. So splitting is almost a blunder. It's not a good idea. That's the tips number one. Tips, tips number two. If red has a stronger home board, then uh, splitting, which is uh, try to maintaining, maintaining the connectivity, is preferred. I made the roll route, and here is the result. So splitting is superior by 25. It's not big, but 25 is decent, different. So if we have a stronger home board, we prefer a hitting contest. That means uh, connection play is preferred. Tips number three. If the opponent secure the advanced anchor like this, now red also wants to make the advanced anchor. This idea came from my book, Opening Concept. Uh, that book has a proverb to counter advanced anchor, make, make advanced anchor. So in this case, uh, splitting back checker is a good option because red has a good chance to secure the advanced anchor. If red choose to running his back checker, now red has no chance to make the advanced anchor. Okay, let's check what actually says. All right, uh, splitting is better by 30. Again, the difference is not huge, but 30 is a decent difference. So, uh, tips number three, when the opponent has advanced anchor, a splitting is preferred. So, I gave you three tips. Red summarize it. Tips number one, when we can run on the midpoint, running is preferred. Tips number two, when we have a stronger home board, then a splitting is preferred. 
Tips number three. When the opponent has advanced anchor, a splitting is preferred. Did you get it? Do you like it? Thank you for watching the video. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel and leave any comment. I wish you good luck and good dice. Bye for now.